In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your iPad software using a Mac. The first thing you need to do is connect the iPad to our Mac using a charging cable. When you do this, you may see a pop-up asking you to allow permission to connect, so you want to allow it. Once you've done this, you want to head over to your Finder, and then you'll see your iPad listed in the left side of the side menu. If you don't see this, you need to select Finder in the top system menu bar, and in the drop down menu, you want to select Settings. Once you're inside the Finder settings, you want to select Sidebar, and in the drop down menu, you want to find CDs, DVDs, and iOS devices, and make sure this is selected. Now we can exit out of the Finder settings and go back to the iPad menu. From here, you want to select Check for Update, and then it's going to fetch the newest iPad OS version, and then you should see a pop up prompting you to update to the latest version. So you want to go ahead and do this now. However, because my iPad is already updated to the latest version, it shows this message instead, so I'm going to select OK. While your iPad is updating to the latest version, you want to make sure it stays connected to your Mac. If for some reason your Mac isn't fetching the latest iPadOS update, or the update keeps failing, then you can manually update it instead. So to do this, we first want to open our web browser. Now you want to go to ipsw.me, and I'll leave this linked in the description below. From here, you want to select your device, so it's iPad, and then you want to go ahead and select your iPad device model. So for the example of this, it's going to be the iPad mini A17 Pro, and mine also comes with cellular. Now you want to find the latest version of iPadOS. So for the example of this video, it's iPadOS 26.1, so I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to scroll down and select download. Now I'm going to save the software to my Mac, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. And now you want to go ahead and wait for this download, and this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depends on the speed of your internet. So now we've downloaded the iPad firmware, we want to go ahead and open our Finder, and go back to the iPad menu. And once we are in here, we want to press and hold the Option key, and we want to select Check for Update. And then you'll see this pop-up box, so you want to select the firmware, and then you want to select Open. And once you do this, it's going to go ahead and update your iPad to that firmware. Just remember to leave your iPad connected to your Mac while the update takes place. And that's it, so if this video was helpful, please leave a like.